Here's my scanner collection. And, uh, I think we'll start with this first one. It's really old. I haven't used it for over 20 years. This is what kind of started, got me started into scanning this Pro Realistic 2021. 200 channels. And um, from there, I jumped to, I believe, let's get over here. This is full trunking Uniden Bearcat BC 89T. And then, uh, even though this is mobile, the BCT 15, I got it uh, hardwired, as you see over there. I like listening to the air band. We all got the military air band, and this does trunking. This does trunking, but it's no good no more here in Toronto. Trunking does not exist in this area. I used to listen to the police. Uh, that's not happening no more. You can uh, hear private businesses and commercial two-way radios, but... Yeah. And then from uh, here, I went to this guy. I don't have nothing in my vehicle. I usually use portables in my vehicle. And then I came to this guy. I can't find a power adapter. I don't use that much. I mainly got it, got this one to listen to the military band dedicated only for that. I mean, it can scan other stuff, but um, only for the military air band. And then uh, I got this guy. This guy's the one, probably my best radio right here. The 396T. Yeah. Solid radio. And then from that, I came to this radio. I use yeah, software. Yeah, this is where we took this 7-2. Uh, we had an issue with Dick Tide with 7, uh, Mach 7-2 and 7-2. Uh, the one you asked for the same lane. 401 westbound collectors off ramp to Eglinton. Again, 401 westbound collectors off ramp to Eglinton for a green Acura disabling a live lane on the off ramp. Do you software the program these? Look at that. Two different ID tags, but the same communication. Same radio call. I'm going to ask you to do your thing. Can you pull that up on the BMP or cameras, please? And also make me a way. And then uh, I got this Kenwood TH 28A, I think it is. Yes, it is, TH 28A. Again, if you notice, the default is the airband. It, uh, it does transmit, but I don't transmit. And, uh, yeah, there are the handbands, 2 meter. Airband also. I like the airband the most, and I got myself a nice uh, AL500H. Makes a huge difference. It works really, really good. I like this antenna a lot. And then I got my two way radios here VHF. The, these two are both VHF, and I think they're, I don't know what, they're from China, the cheap China radios. Motion or, I don't know, the tags fell off. And this is a UHF transmitter, fully open on all UHF frequencies. And 
the, let's see here, we got this, this, this guy I haven't used no more, it's garbage. Then I got my iCom IC R75. That's what I listen to mostly right now. Here's my indoor antenna, about eight feet, 16, uh, I'd say about 10, five feet in each leg, 10 feet dipole. And I bought, these are all going outside eventually. And this is my um, airband antenna. It is a magic antenna. This is a solid antenna. Uh, I can pick up aircraft <laughs> from Toronto, probably all the way to Montreal radius, 500 kilometers, just from this antenna being in my room, not even outside. Beautiful antenna. I think it's a 5 8 whip. And that's my set here. 90% of the time I listen to this. And this, and this. These are just in the house. That's more or less it. I love the colors on this radio. Yeah. And 